Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanali the Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another exhibition match. Flipstep versus Sprung on Siberian Divide. This map, if you saw the last tournament, you would have briefly seen this map. Briefly. It was not a map that was played very much in what the Okay, Metal Map got put into Diffuse Map in this case. But yeah, it was, a, it was a map that was not played very much. It was played in one of the in the losers pre-finals, and I only got to see a couple minutes of that. So I actually don't really know how this map plays out. Find out. Sprung going for Cloaky Bot, or Flipstep going for Cloaky Bot. Sprung going for Light Vehicles. As you can see, it's a bit of a flatter map, has some hilly sections. Like Cloakies can do okay. And players start fairly close to each other with a bunch of expansions behind them. So a lot of safe expansion that can go on, a lot of rushing that can go on given the map here. And Sprung pointing out that. Light Vehicle seems terrible, and I kind of agree. Light Vehicle does seem a bit risky, because they have to go around this giant metal, this giant middle section. I think they do. Yeah, they totally do. Purple everywhere. And Crasher coming up from Flipstep, expecting an early gunship or air. Very hard read this. I mean, that's 220 metal going into a Crasher that could have been a, dart, a couple darts and a Mason. Or, yeah, actually, a couple Scorchers, even. Or a Scorcher and a Mason. But no, going for the early Crasher, that's a strange choice. So Flipstep at a massive advantage just because of this bad read. And now going for the standard Dart, Scorcher, Mason setup. But yeah, this is... Like, they are worried about an air start. And Flipstep kind of has this. If for no other... I mean, it's not necessarily over, it's just a... Sprung, now realizing that it's not an air start, they'll probably be... Uh, yeah. Oh, crap. Why did I make that crasher? Well, hey, if you can keep it alive until air switch, then you should be okay. And take it out of the queue, though. There's no reason to have it in the queue. But Flipstep, they have the better ground force right now. Oh, I see. They're expecting Blast Wings. That's why. Yeah, that makes sense. Blast Wings come and go in power, but I guess they're really powerful right now. <laughs> Didn't really expect that sort of mix-up to happen, though. Like, seriously, that's big of a deal. But I guess, I mean, I don't know, I would have kind of personally gone for Cloaky if you want to worry about that, because this is bot-pathable. The center area is bot-pathable. Most of this is bot-pathable, actually. If you look at it, this is what vehicle is. Switching over to bot-pathable is basically everything but these giant hills. Everything else is bot passable. This is effectively flat to bots. Although I think the defenders probably would have been fine. The crasher was a bit overkill. I, I might be wrong. It might actually not have been. But yeah, with all these, all these glazes, why is the crasher here? The crasher should not be in the front lines. But nope, the crasher apparently wants to die. I thought Flipster was the only one with units that wanted to die. No, oh, this Crasher going forward. I don't know what's going on. I think Sprung might have thought that was a Scorcher. Not sure why it's there. Like I said, it's basically there to die. Because it's not going to be hitting. But at least the Defenders are useful. That's the thing. Like The Defenders, the nice thing about Defenders, they're perfectly fine against Glaze. They're quite handy against Glaze, actually. So... Using building those was not a big waste. It was a little bit overkill to build them early on, but it wasn't a big waste, especially expecting blast wings. It's kind of a safe thing. But as long as that crasher stays alive, it's not a big deal. And actually, it does mean that Flipstep has to consider if they want to switch air, there is anti air already in the field. Assuming it goes that far. Flipstep is. Well, they're expanding about the same rate, but Sprung does not have the economy used for production as much. Make. They also don't have the energy. They, they don't have power. They need more power plants. Why are... Th this mace is just idle. They desperately need more power plants. Okay, so Sprung did in fact throw it out to die, just in chat pointing out that the Crasher was there to get hit and die. But at this point... Getting to a pure ground game. Sprung finally getting up these solar collectors. Actually, this one's the only ones. No, their commander got them up, so they're they're fine. They're just, actually, at this point, this mason should just go off and start helping the factory out. Like, right now. 
A little bit surprised that's not happening yet. But yeah, that needs to happen pretty soon. Hopefully this mason's going to be helping out. Just because Flipstip right now, not quite got the production yet, but they will soon. And Sprung could really take advantage, of, despite the fact that they have a weaker economy, if they have the production up, they could at least make up for the fact that they started off weak. But I don't know if they're going to do that. I kind of doubt it. Nope, these two masons are idle. Help the factory out. Oh man, Sprung's accessing too. That is painful. I think Sprung's heart's not in it in this game. I, I think this match, Sprung just... Once that crasher happened, I think they just lost all hope. Yeah, Sprung's... Sprung's going down. But yeah, it's just... Or, sorry, Sprung's commander was under attack. Not totally going down. But I get the impression that Sprung just isn't paying attention. I know that feeling. It's really hard to shake once that happens. You screw some, you screw something big up, and you're just thinking, "What am I supposed to do?" Oh, nice. At least got rid of Flipstep's commander. Not bad. Flipstep, however, getting that caretaker. Once that's up, if Sprung doesn't get their own assist built, and they're not. Why aren't they? They have plenty of assist. Oh man, this Mason's worse than useless. That sucks. Oh, can't play. Okay, yeah, so they were just... Ah, oh, that sucks. Damn, I wish someone had put it in the comments that this was a match that was kind of ruined by lag and bad start, because that assist built... That sucks. That really... I'm sorry. I didn't realize that it was as disappointing of a match as that, because it's just I can tell that Sprung just didn't really want to play. They were just too uncomfortable. And if lag, yeah, I could see lag. I can totally see lag. Anyway, that was... Sorry about that, Sprung. Didn't mean to show off that disappointment of... I'm sure you're probably kind of disappointed with that. It happens. Don't feel too bad. Anyway, on to the last game for tonight, which is going to be Kshatriya versus Flipstep. And... On Zed. And I'm sorry, Flipstep. But it should probably be shown anyway. So stay tuned. Be up in a sec. <laughs> 